Hey YouTube, today we're going to talk about a subject that I love to bring up on this channel and we're going to prove some 9mm people wrong. And before we get started, I'm going to show you that neither one of these weapons I'm going to use as examples have anything in them. They are clear to make a video with and nobody can get her. So what we're going to talk about today is suppressors and what they're good for and what is a good weapon to suppress. So what we have here to use as an example is we have a SIG P320. This is a Legion. This is the, um, I think it's called the X5 Legion Carry and it comes from the factory with a threaded barrel. And the other one we're gonna compare this to is an FN 545 tactical and this one also comes from the factory with a threaded barrel now suppressors what are they good for they're good for reducing noise when you screw them on the end and folks to be honest with you i do have a suppressor on the way it is paid for and it is in the waiting stage with the with the HEF as we speak and it has been going for a long time and people are getting them back a lot faster now but mine's caught up in the jumble of the last year rush so as soon as we get that back we'll do some stuff with suppressors but for now we're just going to talk about what suppressors are good for so people get tied up into these suppressors and they think that they're the same thing as they see in the movies that um, <clears throat> assassins use, James Bond and whatever else that people use suppressors for. And it's just simply not that case, folks. Suppressors reduce the noise greatly to a um, weapon, but they do not silence them. So to call them a silencer is probably incorrect. And what they do is they screw on the end of these threaded barrels. Most of them have like a little thread protector that screws on the end. I'm gonna screw this off and show you. And then the suppressor just screws right on the end of it. But anyway, we're gonna talk about what good weapons are to suppress. And I love talking about nine millimeter people. So nine millimeter people think that their calibers is the greatest thing in the world. And they're just simply wrong folks. And I don't have anything against nine millimeter people or nine millimeter caliber as you can see i own nine millimeter pistols but it is a subpar caliber when it comes to the stuff that they defend it with okay so the nine millimeter people's main claim to fame is that it is a fast moving bullet it is smaller and it is faster and it has great velocity but those same people, and it will penetrate further than a 45. Well, those same people buy stuff like this, <laughs> with this with a threaded barrel, and then they go pay a $200 tax stamp to the government, and they wait however long it takes, and they put a suppressor on the end of this, and they think they're James Bond. Well, they're not gonna be James Bond, folks, because it's a nine millimeter, the way it makes its energy is with velocity because it is a much smaller bullet than a 45 and usually they are traveling you know 11 or 1200 feet per second and when you put a suppressor on a bullet that is moving supersonic which is that 1200 feet per second 1100 feet per second the suppressor does very little. You still have a sonic boom, which creates a crack, and you have wasted your money on trying to suppress this pistol. So the way that they have found the ways around this is they have created subsonic ammunition. So let's talk about subsonic ammunition for a second. And subsonic ammunition in a 9mm, usually they bump the size of the bullet up to like 147 green. So they make the bullet a larger bullet with more mass. Sound familiar folks, kind of like a 45. And then they slow it down to around 980 feet per second. So what they're doing is they're making a larger bullet and slowing it down so it can be suppressed. Well folks, let me explain something to you in simple math. <clears throat> if you take a 147 grain bullet and you slow it down into the 900s, the velocity, <clears throat> you are you are absolutely negating everything that you bought your 9mm pistol for. 
Now, if you want to compare that to a 45, a 45, the normal size, normal size bullet comes out of one of these things, and I know there's a bunch of different sizes, but is a 230 grain bullet. That 230 grain bullet is moving about 850 to 900 feet per second, and it's moving a 230 grain bullet that fast. The way of 45, its main claim to fame is its mass and it spreads its energy upon impact because of the mass of the bullet they're hitting. So if you take a smaller bullet, such as this nine millimeter, and you reduce it down to 147 grains and you slow it down to maybe as fast as a hot 45 or a little bit a little bit faster than a regular 45 you absolutely have a subpar weapon as compared to a 45 almost all 45 ammunition is naturally subsonic so all the performance you get out of a 45 acp you will get equally as much performance when you put a suppressor on with the nine millimeter you have to play with the actual grains of the bullet the load of it you have to slow it down and it usually causes malfunctions with the weapon and nine millimeter people will do anything they can to look cool they will, <laughs> they will put a suppressor on these things and they'll deal with all the problems and they've really accomplished nothing except for making an inferior weapon to what they could have had if they just bought a 45 to begin with and just screwed a suppressor on it and used regular ammo it absolutely makes no sense, folks. It's There's no measurable scientific test that you can show me that says that a 9mm is better than a 45. It suppresses better. It runs better with a suppressor on it. It has more energy in every state that you can think of. Every ammunition, when you compare ammo to ammo, the 45 is a better, better choice in every way. The 45 has a little bit more recoil, and that's the only argument they have. And you know what fixes that, folks? It's called training. Learn how to shoot. Learn how to control your recoil. Learn how to place your shots, and you'll be fine with the much more superior weapon as the 45. But it's so funny that they the only reason I have this gun with this threaded barrel on it and 9mm is it came with the threaded barrel. I wanted the carry one, the shorter barrel one, and that's how they come, was with the threaded barrel on it. I would have never bought a 9mm weapon with a threaded barrel for that sole reason that it has a threaded barrel on it. <laughs> because you have to buy subsonic ammo. Subsonic ammo does not perform anywhere anywhere near as well as regular 9mm self-defense ammo. And regular 9mm self-defense ammo is supersonic and it does not suppress well. The suppressor does next to nothing when you shoot it out of it. 45, however, put a suppressor on a 45 and shoot any ammo in it, and almost all of it is subsonic naturally, and all the great performance you get out of the 45 ACP ammo, which is already superior to the 9mm ammo. If you look at my other videos and energy and all that kind of stuff, will work just as well. It will not mess your gun up. The gun will still function the same, and you can run your suppressor on it. So... I just wanted to make a video today to show you one more time the, these people that yell at me on the internet about this 9mm thing versus the 45 thing that I've done too many videos on. They're even wrong in this case, folks. It's just not, it's just not a good idea to suppress a 9mm and think it's going to perform anywhere near close to what the 45 is. If a non-suppressed 9mm is not performing as well as a 45 what makes these people think when they suppress it they're gonna um, they're gonna perform like a 45 i don't understand the point of suppressing it anyway because it's not a good it's not a good round to suppress you're taking performance away from something that is lacking already so it's not ever a good idea to suppress a nine millimeter pistol so you can go back to all the other science things that I've talked about before. Their speed, their speed has to go down the tubes when they use a the suppressor. Their penetration, both of them will go straight through a human body, so that really isn't an issue. But when you start slowing this little baby down, 
it really falls behind to the 45. <clears throat> but anyway, folks, just a couple points I had to point out. You know, I think when you suppress when you suppress a nine millimeter and use subsonic ammo, you lose about 25 to 30 percent of its of its energy and velocity. And that's the nine millimeters main claim to fame is its velocity that creates an energy. A smaller bullet has to travel faster to create the same energy that a larger bullet does traveling at subsonic speeds. That is science and uh, there is no disputing that. If you have any questions on this video folks or either one of these two weapons feel free to ask. I have separate videos on each one of them and thank you very much for watching my video today and you folks have a great day.